tonight on Recruits. The biggest day on the police college calendar. I'm a bit nervous. I don't want to stuff up. As students become officers. Just really proud of him. Sorry. No, I'm used to it. She's always like this. So. But some might not make the parade as they face last chance exams. So I kept telling myself, I can do this, I can do this. For the recruits, life is about to change forever. Every single one of you uh, will be assaulted. How does that sit with you guys? Eight months ago, 400 students walked into the New South Wales Police College, hoping to earn a place on the force. I'm going to fit everything in this room. We'll make it feel like home yeah. soon. <laughs> it's got to be my home for the next eight months. The course was demanding, testing them in ways they never imagined. Oh, boys, boys yourself. I want to finish. One in 10 students haven't made it. There was that sense of failure. This is all I've been working towards for the last two years. <laughs> but now, finally, for most students, all the work is over. Yes! Yeah, pass it all. I passed the whole course, so I'm out of here. Yeah, everyone's oh, passed yeah. so fast, everyone's yeah. stoked. Eight months is all finished, so I get to go home and be a cop soon. <laughs> <laughs> but some still haven't earned their place on the parade ground. I failed law. A bit upset about that, but it's my own fault for uh, rushing through it and not taking my time, so cop it on the chin and um, move on and get through it. Law now. is the hardest like written tonight. exam at Police College, and Mitch is the first to admit he's struggled academically. There's a lot of information taking. If you look at the size of books, mm. got to read all of that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Along with a handful of others who failed, Mitch has a chance to resit the exam, and there's a lot riding on it. Giving up his building job has already cost him thousands. I'd like to say I'm feeling very confident about it all, but uh, in saying that, I felt confident when I did the first exam, and obviously, here I am resitting it. If he fails today, he won't be graduating with his classmates. Lawyer Alex is in a similar boat to Mitch. She's excelled academically, but along with 10 others, failed her shooting tests. If I had five rounds instead of four. OK. Not happy. <laughs> Alex has always been a high achiever, but since day one, guns have been a worry. I'm just a bit nervous that I won't do well and then I'll worry, you know, I'll spend sleepless nights worrying if firearms are going to be my biggest problem area. For such a perfectionist, failing a test has come as a shock, adding pressure to today's final attempt. Oh, it means everything to get through this. It's a lonely place, that shooting bay, when you're the only one, you know, you feel like you can't see anyone else. It's just you and the target. You've got to do what you have to do to do it, OK? All I want you to listen to right. is the range master and just concentrate on what you need to do. I think if she irons out the problems and doesn't panic, I think she'll pass and she'll do really good. As long as she doesn't talk herself out of it, she'll get through. All right, let's get started. You will draw and fire one round in two seconds. One round, watch your target. Two rounds, watch your target. I was just trying to stay calm. I was kept in my head over and over again in the loudest voice. I kept telling myself, I can do this, I can do this. Pretty confident. I went over it so many times to make sure I had everything in there. Um, so yeah, ten minutes and find out the result basically. So fingers crossed. Been nervous about it all. It's the moment of truth for Mitch. He needs to score at least 80 in his law exam to make the parade ground. Mitchell, congratulations, mate. There's your mate. Too bad. Look at improvement, eh? How are you going? All right. I got through. You got through. I passed the 
91 percent. 91? Yeah, smashed it. That's the other nine. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'll get it next time. <laughs> Dad was uh, really happy with me, so um, yeah, looking forward to coming down here and watching me attest, basically. The next sequence is an emergency reload sequence. Do not fire more than four rounds. Alex has reached the crucial reload section of her shooting test. Last time, she fired five shots instead of four. Watch your target. Holster. Your reloads are going great guns. Okay. okay your reloads are Is going really well. Support hand grip. I went through each sequence. Like each shot was the last shot that I had to get. So each shot was like the money shot. Like if I didn't get this shot, I felt the whole thing. Two rounds in four seconds. Watch your target. All right, step back in the bay. Target's returning. Uh, I'll just add yours up. Alex has fired all her shots in the right sequence, but she needs to score 30 on target to pass. Uh, your score? Alex is waiting to learn if she's passed her final shooting attempt. Uh, your score? did actually really well. She was pumped, she shot well, she, she did everything that we asked and, and, and it was good to see. Uh, she certainly was excited and look, we're, we're excited also for them. <laughs> You've done it. You've got there. It's an honour and a privilege to be a New South Wales police officer and I want you to stop, take a really deep breath and enjoy it. Three years, people. I say that to every group that comes here. You are mine for three years. Never, ever, ever forget why you join this job. And every so often, just do a little check and say, why did I join and am I still true to those values? And if you are, you're doing a fantastic job. 377 new recruits are about to hit the New South Wales streets and there's excitement as each finds out where they'll That's be posted for the next three years. Yeah, mainly. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going so ill. <laughs> oh my god, I'm at it! Oh my god. <laughs> you still going to Bankstown, mate? Yeah, you still got Bankstown. Still got Bankstown. Yeah. You might have gotten Rose Bay or something. <laughs> Each student listed their preferred stations, but there was no guarantee of getting it. I'm still going to the cross. Yeah, I've actually never set foot in the city before. Uh, I've been told a lot of stories, so it's definitely going to be a big eye opener for me. But um, yeah, excited about it, so I can't wait to get there. Really. Is that in the tour? Chiefs from each of the local area commands have come to meet their new recruits. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, I can't wait. There's family and friends coming down? Yeah, they've come all the way down from Byron Bay. Oh, really? Yeah. For Mitch, bound for the notorious red light district of King's Cross, it's a reality check. That research tells me that every single one of you uh, will be assaulted or will be physically resisted in the first 12 months of your stationing at King's Cross. How does that sit with you guys? Are you ready for that? You are expected by me uh, not to take a backward step when you patrol the streets of King's Cross. If you show them any weakness, 
uh, they will take advantage of that and you may get hurt. You guys have won the lottery uh, because you are going to learn from day one what good police work is all about. You are going to be the best police officers that this state can produce because you're going to start at King's Cross. Oh, come on. <laughs> Before the attestation parade, there's another tradition students have been anticipating almost as much, the graduation dinner. Everyone's pretty excited. It's a good vibe at the moment. I'm just trying to get my dress organised right now. I'm wearing a blue number. Yeah, I'm going to run a little a suit top tonight. I was wearing this dress originally, but... And do, do you notice the similarity? Danny's got the same money? dress, so we had to... There's something that's really yeah, similar. Yeah, veer away from that. Oh, so. oh, oh, my last coloured dress! Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, for you. Oh, wow. Yeah. After oh, eight God, tightly so bound months, it's a chance to finally let their hair down. Nice to wear dresses. Yeah, we're not yeah. Yeah. No cargo pants. Yeah, and cargo ugly pants. boots. Sort of like we have yeah, they actually have heels issues. on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Their hair's not in a hairnet. Yeah. <laughs> no hairnet. <laughs> I know a lot of the girls have planned this from pretty much week two of session two, talking about what they're going to wear. Guys, leave it to last minute. But yeah, it's uh, a pretty big thing. It's almost the last time you'll spend with all your classmates that you've had down here. So yeah, it's a big deal. It's a good night. Everyone's having fun, and you know we're going to be leaving soon, and you know taking on all the responsibilities. So yeah, it's fun. It's, it's a little bit sad, but it's good. It's a good night. Graduation day, the most important day at police college. The first official day of the students' police careers. I'm really nervous. I just don't want to step up when I'm marching, so that's just, if I can avoid that, I'll be happy. Attestation day is the day you'll remember for the rest of your life. Taking off that blue band is a very special thing for everyone down here. Best moment will be throwing the hat up. All protocol goes out the window when that hat goes up. Everyone goes pretty mental. And... It's going to be good fun. It's graduation day at police college. I'm very happy. <laughs> Family and friends arriving to witness the moment loved ones become police officers. This day is very important to me. I've given up, you know, a lot to be here. I've made some sacrifices and, you know, I've been away from home for the last eight months. Just really emotional, yeah. Just really proud of him. Sorry. <laughs> No, I'm used to it. She's always like this, so... <laughs> no. no, I'm proud. I'm happy. I'm going to be up this end at the, this corner. OK. Like, see... Yeah, yeah. like, if that's... So we should stand down yeah, the end so there? Yeah, so you want to go down there. Like oh, that. no, I... Like... <laughs> Good to see you. It's coming to an end, and eight months of hard work, it's come to an end, and we're going to march out cops, and it's very exciting. Look at you! Yeah. Wow. I can't believe he's my son. He looks too old. <laughs> there you go, Rich. Good to see you, Rich. It was a tough choice to come down here, but I think I've made the right decision to follow this career. Well, I suppose when Mitch first came and said, you know, he wanted to join the police force, uh, Leanne and I were a bit concerned, but he was determined to do it, and um, yeah, today's the results. It's uh, it's excellent to see him come out and um, and graduate. The day is emotional for Frankie's grandfather. He was a police officer too in his native Uruguay. He's proud to see that Frank's followed in his footsteps and, and very excited. The parade is, a, is the crowning achievement of what they've been working towards for the last eight months. 
Um, it's their day. We always emphasise that it's their day and they put on a show for their families and for their loved ones. I'm really excited. I'm a bit nervous. I don't want to stuff up, but I'm just excited. It's freezing. It started snowing a minute ago, so, yeah, I don't care. It can be lightning or thunder. I'll still stand out there. So. They arrived at college as civilians. Now, the recruits are walking out as police officers. The parade commander will now prepare the students for attestation. For those here taking the oath of office, please repeat after me. I, Mitchell John Fleming, do swear that I will well and truly serve. I swear that I will well and truly serve. Without favour or affection, malice or ill will. Without favour or affection, malice. malice or ill will. I will to the best of my skill and knowledge. I will to the best of my skill and knowledge. Discharge all of my duties faithfully. Discharge all, all my, my duties, duties faithfully. faithfully. According to law. According to law. According to law. So help me God. So help me God. Now officially police, the class can remove their blue student ribbons. first turns up at Goulburn, we tell them from day one that we will change every aspect of their life, how they think and how they feel and how they react. They've finally become the end product of what's required and they've become a police officer which is just an outstanding achievement for them. <laughs> Hard work, it's all paid off, eight months of hell, best day of my life, by far. I just hope all his training keeps him safe on the streets and I know he'll be a good policeman because he's a good kid. <laughs> they arrived at college as civilians. Now, the recruits are walking out as police officers. Next week, they'll be working the beat. I'm going to be an easy going cop. Firm but fair, that's what I want to be. Treat people how I want to be treated. Good luck, Carl. Yeah, thanks, man. I think I'm ready, but you get the feeling now you, that you're going out, you're like, oh my god, do I know enough? A weight slips it off my shoulders and then Monday a new one will probably jump right back on. It's gonna, it's gonna be a hard year, but yeah, I'll get there. Done this at the airport many a time. I'll get it. Joining the police force opened new doors for me that I didn't know were even out there. Prior to coming here, I was never had any plans to leave my hometown or do anything new with my life. 
There's one main lesson that sticks out for me that I've learned and it's just to not be wound quite so tight. Have faith in my abilities and just relax. I'm going to run with it and just see what happens. Being down here by yourself, you really appreciate all the support that you get from your family. It's, it's very humbling. I'm going to Bankstown, very busy station, full on. It demands a high level of, you know, maturity and um, assertiveness. Kind of know what to expect, but um, out in the streets, it's probably a different story. But I think I'll, I think I'll be ready. I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it. I think I was a little bit naive before I came here. I didn't really know that there are people out there that um, don't have the best intentions. It's been the most interesting journey I think I've ever been through. Um, it's been the longest eight and a half months of my life. Um, it's been challenging in some parts and it's really put me through my paces and I wouldn't change it for the world. Goodbye, Goldwyn. Feels like I'm leaving home. I've basically been living here for the last eight months, so it still hasn't sunk in yet. Come Tuesday and basically patrolling the streets of King's Cross is going to be exciting but scary at the same time, I think. I'm sure that when I start work, we'll finally sink in, knowing that I'm actually out on the street and happening to protect the community, basically. Next time on Recruits. Gives us one eight urgent, another fight outside coffee. Australia's newest police finally take to the streets. Oh my old son, I'm drunk, so I'm Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. A manhunt in man. Oh my god. And a side of life they've never seen. We're not in Kansas anymore. Police! And for more recruits action, log on to the website. And it's really put me through my paces and I wouldn't change it for the world. Goodbye, Goldwyn. Feels like I'm leaving home. I've basically been living here for the last eight months, so it still hasn't sunk in yet. Come Tuesday and basically patrolling the streets of King's Cross is going to be exciting but scary at the same time, I think. I'm sure that when I start work, we'll finally sink in, knowing that I'm actually out on the street and happening to protect the community, basically. Next time on Recruits. Gives us one eight urgent, another fight outside coffee. Australia's newest police finally take to the streets. Oh my old son, I'm drunk, so I'm Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. A manhunt in man. Oh my god. And a side of life they've never seen. We're not in Kansas anymore. Police! And for more recruits action, log on to the website. Thank <laughs> you.